The Sixth Amendment guarantees that a criminal defendant may confront the witnesses against him. This guarantee generally requires using live testimony against the defendant. But can a witness's unavailability excuse a constitutional requirement for live in-court testimony? Barber v. Page explores the constitutional dimensions of unavailability. At Barber's trial, a transcript of a witness's prior testimony was admitted because the witness was incarcerated outside the state. Jack Barber and another man, Woods, were charged with armed robbery in an Oklahoma state court. At a preliminary hearing, Woods decided to waive his privilege against self-incrimination and testify. Woods's testimony incriminated Barber. Barber's attorney didn't cross-examine Woods at the preliminary hearing. Seven months passed before Barber was brought to trial. At that point, Woods was being held in federal prison outside Oklahoma. He was in Texarkana, Texas, over 200 miles from the Oklahoma trial court. The state didn't seek to have Woods appear as a witness. Instead, the state offered the transcript of Woods's prior testimony and argued that Woods was unavailable as a witness because he was outside the jurisdiction. Barber objected, arguing that introducing the transcript would deprive him of his confrontation rights. The trial court overruled Barber's objection. The court deemed Woods unavailable and admitted the transcript. Barber was convicted. The state appellate court affirmed the conviction. Barber then petitioned for habeas corpus, naming his prison warden, Ray Page, as defendant. Barber argued that using the transcript deprived him of his confrontation rights. The district court reasoned that there wasn't a Sixth Amendment violation and denied relief. On appeal, the Tenth Circuit affirmed. The Supreme Court granted cert.